Welcome back to my channel, Libras. Today we are doing your week ahead to see what is going on for the next week. The week dates will be posted in the video title. So yeah, it's in there. All right, so we're gonna pull six cards and then we're gonna also do a little affirmative action for you guys. All right, so we're gonna see what's going on with Libra, what Libra can expect for next week, how to get through, what guidance can be given. Oh. I do not read reversals in my next week readings, my week ahead readings. Okay. So far we have the Five of Pentacles, the Death card. I do see you guys getting a new mind frame. Libra. So we have these six cards here in your layout for the week ahead. Let's get this back some. You do have the Five of Pentacles, the Death and Rebirth card, the Nine of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Tower. You do have two major arcanas in this spread, which is Death, Rebirth, and the Tower card. Death and the Tower card. Um, like I said, I just feel like... Uh, you're experiencing something, a big change. Some A big change is coming within this week, just with those two cards. Um, it's not something that's going to, the change fully is not going to take place fully this week. But this week is the start of this big change, a big evolvement. Um, like you might have felt last week like a lot of things fell apart for you. Um, you know, things just weren't going your way. And now it's just like, you're now, you now see things differently and you gained like a new empowerment of yourself, uh, a new strength. And it's just like, it's going to be a new you, a new view, a new energy, a new thought process. It's just some newness coming in. Okay. It's like a new transformation. Something is transforming for you for the best. Okay. But we're going to tap into and see what each card holds for you guys. Okay, and the what to focus on, you have the Five of Pentacles. And you see, there's this key right here sitting in the corner. And there's the hole. What you need to focus on is using what you have. Using what you have and acknowledging what you have. Okay? Do, there's help out there. There is resources out there. So, with this being said, use what you have to, to get where you need to get. I don't know if any of my viewers ever seen Players Club. They be like, make the money, don't let the money make you. Okay, so it's just like, don't let these hard times define you. Don't let whatever comes in distract you. You take those resources. Okay, so there might be people coming to you, Libra, this week that are giving you offerings, um, wanting to give you things, knowledge, money, um, just because they see your potential. Do not shy away from it. Be accepting of this. Um, don't be turning down your blessings, guys. It's okay to be strong and independent and all these things, but it's also okay to receive help. Focusing on opening up and allowing yourself to receive help. Focusing on opening up, period, okay? Uh, get outside of your head as well. For some of you guys, it's just like getting outside of your head this week and just... Um, experiencing experience life experience some kind of happiness uh just, just get out of the the energy of feeling alone feeling like there's no one there to help you there is no one there to assist you um there's a it is okay to open your mouth libra whether it's at work with your friends this is the time 
to open up and speak what you need. A closed mouth cannot get fed. People cannot know what you need if you're not speaking. Okay, even if this is a relationship thing that you're dealing with this week, you need to open up and make sure you voice what it is that you need assistance with, what it is that you expect, your expectations as well with this Five of Pentacles card. Uh, what you need to ignore, with the death and rebirth card, I just say, ignore those past feelings. Ignore any past issues that you've had. It might be somebody traveling, not traveling, but somebody coming back and having this certain mindset and you've grown. Okay, so just ignore what they're thinking, what they're saying, and move past it, okay? Like you're so much further than that, you've grown. This could even be somebody in the workplace, um, who believes that something is supposed to be done a certain way and it's just like you have knowledge of showing them that there's a different way to be done you might be overlooked you might not be seen but it's just like ignore that okay ignore that ignore anything that you feel is going to stunt you anything that is going to downplay you, make you feel less than okay so, Libra, what you need to ignore is anybody who can't fully see what it is that you're going after, fully see your ideas, fully see your plans, fully see your vision, your picture, because not everybody's going to understand your new mindset or how you view things or how you see things, and that is definitely okay. So you need to ignore that somebody, you might even be having a conversation with this five of pentacles being next to this death and rebirth. You might be opening up to somebody and they're just not seeing your side of things. But that is okay. Your greatest potential, you have the nine of swords. Your greatest potential right here is You see this pillow, you see this girl in the red, you see all these black birds, and then you see your spirit right there, your spirit guide, your spirit angel. Your greatest potential is that they're making way for you. If there's people out there that's trying to spread rumors about you, people out there who's trying to, I guess, like, bring a downfall, whatever things are coming for you, if somebody's doing any kind of magic, or if... People are talking down on things that you're trying to do. People in your circle that are being messy. Spirit has you protected. Whatever words are being spoken, because it's somebody this week that is trying to really, they're using words to try to attack you. They're using words to try to hurt your feelings, uh, send you to a breaking point, uh, crying. Somebody is pillow talking to uh, other people about you. They're being very, very messy with it. But spirit is just, it's like I'm hearing that nobody's going to believe them. Nobody believes them because they see your growth. They see the work that you're doing and the compliments that you're making, the changes that you're making as well. You're protected. You are protected, Libra. Nothing can come against you. Even when you're stressing and you feel like there's no way out of whatever it is that you're going to go through this week, or if you're not seeing the finish line, or if you're dealing with some kind of emotional pressure this week, Spirit Guide, Ancestors, Divine is saying, lean on me. Talk to me. Don't go talk to everybody else. Don't go pillow talking to other people. Talk to me. This week, they are waiting for you to communicate with them. Because when you communicate with them, you're opening up to them and that's allowing them to see what it is that you need and to assist you. You have the Three of Cups. Before I even go into what it means this week, they're wanting to come in and work with you. Your obstacles to overcome is letting people work with you. Is getting a team, team building, celebrating the little things, acknowledging the little things that you've accomplished in life. But most of all, it's important that you start working as a team. Stop feeling like it just has to be all you. Start acknowledging the people around you that are assisting you and accompanying you. People who are building you and growing you as well. That obstacle that you have is being in the mindset of feeling like you have nobody. This is something that you need to detach from Libra. Detach from the mindset of feeling like you can't 
have, there's nobody for you to lean on. There's nobody for you to, um, to push through with. You're going through some kind of emotional battles and you're feeling like nobody understands, but you have a team. They are here. They're waiting to listen. Your blessings to celebrate is the four of pentacles. And for me, this is just Libra. What you're celebrating is getting what you deserve back. Okay. Holding on to your dignity, holding on to your standards, holding on to your respect, holding on to your thoughts, how you perceive things, while still being open-minded and able to receive. But what you're not receiving, but what you're not receiving is the handouts that are being given to you. So be open to receive from other people, okay? But don't let your pride and dignity get into the way. But we're celebrating you being strong this week. We're celebrating you being able to stand your ground. You're not letting anybody bully you, pressure you, push you down. You're standing strong on what you believe and what you believe that you deserve. Your standards have grown. You are growing. You're listening to your intuition. You're listening to your values. And you're holding your head up high this week. You're holding your head up high this week. You're not allowing whatever in the background to distract you. Like I said, there could be people that's just talking, chit-chatting about you in the background, being messy, and you're, you're not allowing that to bring you down this week. You're keeping your head high. You're pushing through. You know what's true. You're not even worried. You're not even going back and forth because you know that your divine guided angels have your back, Libra. The best advice that we have for you is to continue to transform through the madness, through the stress, through what you feel like you could be feeling like you're falling apart. Emotionally, mentally, physically. Emotions that have been stored up are starting to come out in outbursts and you feel like you're just crumbling with this outpour. But it's okay because you're dealing with those issues, those emotions that you've had bottled up, that you act like weren't there. You're acknowledging things. You're acknowledging your worth. You're rebuilding yourself. You're transforming. You're knocking down that old house and you're rebuilding something with the sturdier foundation. This, this is the three little pigs, baby. You're not using that stick home anymore. You are preparing to build your brick two-story home that you deserve. This week, you're seeing the transformation within yourself. You're seeing how you respond to things, people, and just unseen, um, unseen circumstances in your life. Okay? You have trust. Take a chance. Faith can move mountains. Trust the universe to guide you through the unknown. You have the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Cups together, right here. They are your resource. They are here to assist you. They're giving you the tools that are needed to get out of whatever position you're in or to answer any questions that you may have. They're here to help you and guide you. Trust them. Trust and believe when you're asking them for something. You have get out of your own way. You are the reason, the cause, and the solution. Take back your power by remembering who you really are. You have the death card with the four of pentacles. Seeing yourself in a new light. Gaining back your confidence. Knowing your worth. Knowing your standards. Leveling up. You're seeing yourself differently. You're seeing what you want differently right now. This is the week of your eyes being open. This is the start of a big change. You're getting the, the wheels rolling on this big change. You have everything is always working out for me. You have the nine of swords with the tower. While those people are talking about you or what, when people got black magic trying to come in on you, Libra, your spirit guides are here. They're protecting you. They're protecting you. They're allowing things to, they're, they're cleaning out the yard to give you that new foundation to rebuild. 
when you feel like everything is falling apart, it's really working out for you. It's really creating a new thing. Even though it might not seem like the best thing right now that's going on within your life this week, you might feel like you're losing a lot. You might not be understanding why things are happening this week. But just know everything is starting to work out for you. They're clearing the pathway for you guys. Okay, Libra? So be prepared for the big changes that are going to start happening this week. Like I said, you won't see the changes happening immediately, but you will start to see the wheels turning because this is going to go on for a couple of weeks, if not months. The changes are coming in week by week. New things are coming in. Old things are flushing out. Okay? And that's what I have for you today, Libra. Don't forget to like and subscribe.